slip forming of large units. Slip forming has always been predestined for tower-like constructions. In addition, it has also become more important in industrial construction for building large and sometimes complex layouts. Just think of power station buildings, waste incineration plants, as well as multicellular containments and silos. And let's not forget large tanks for storage of liquefied natural gas with perimeters of 300 meters. The arrangement of such a slip form consists of a high number of stroke points at a comparatively low construction speed. This is because a large amount of different materials must be incorporated at the same time. By now, slip forming of prefabricated elements and the construction of monolithic consoles are up to today's standards. Wall areas beginning at higher levels of the structure are integrated into the slip form right from the start. If needed, ordinary wooden box outs can be replaced with reusable system formworks. Constant technological advancements pave the way for the use of high performance concrete in slip forming projects. Until now, those types of concrete were considered difficult to manage and control because of their mixture and hydration characteristics. The use of slip forming as an alternative to conventional formwork allows for thinner and more complex cross sections. The Mondrian Tower in the center of Amsterdam is an example of today's limits in concrete technology for slip forming. Besides the mixed design, one must also pay attention to a continuously planned logistics chain from the place of production of the freshly mixed concrete to the final point of installation. The central factors of success of a slip forming project are the careful consideration of building logistics and specifications of concrete technology in the planning of the slip forming as well as choosing highly trained employees.